This video will show you the features of the JBQ Coaches Assistant application that runs on your laptop in a Chrome browser. After you purchase the application, um, when you start a new tab in the browser, you'll have this new icon. You click on it and it'll start the app. To start a new match, you click on New Match and this will initially be blank, but you just fill in the names of all the quizzers, including any subs for both teams. Uh, the app is very configurable on the number of questions for 10s, 20s, and 30s, and also the number of wrong questions that uh, make somebody quiz out backwards or positive, and how much the bonus is if they do get a positive quiz out. So you can use the scorekeeping program not only for a regular JBQ match, but maybe for a novice league where they don't do 30s, or even a TBQ where they have a different number of uh, 10, 20s, and 30s. Once you have the information entered, you just start the match. And if you're just going to use it for basic scorekeeping, all you do is click on the point value of the question, and then who buzzes in and then you can go to the next question and the screen is laid out kind of you know just like the table is with one team on the right and the other team on the left quiz masters up front so whenever they say announce a question check it there check off what point value they say and click on the quizzer that buzzes in if the quizzer happens to get it wrong just click on it again and then you can award the points to whoever buzzes in on the other team. So it's very easy to uh, keep score during a match. Uh, just pick the question, what the point value is, who buzzed in, go to the next question. One of the very uh, useful features of this app is the ability to look up a question as the quiz master is reading it. And that's what this area is for down here. Um, you do it by typing. Uh, the first letter of each word of the question and initially you would type in the point value so if the quiz master says question number four for 20 points what do we mean when we say that God is eternal and the question would be there uh, that was kind of a long one but um, as you type in it narrows down what the possible questions could be until you actually see it uh, very helpful when you're doing a uh, quotation question maybe it's you know question for 30 points quotation question quote the lord's prayer so before the quiz master even finishes reading the question uh, or recognizes the quizzer you'll usually have the question up in front of you so as the quizzer is responding you can follow along and make sure that they're uh, not missing any words um as the the match goes on if you want to look at the match in a more traditional uh, score sheet kind of mode you can look at the summary view it'll also list all of the uh, questions that you looked up which is very useful at the end of a match you can look and see that you uh, captured all the questions that were asked so that you can uh, you know review them with your quizzers afterwards um, you can keep track of fouls for each quizzer and team fouls. You can keep track of how many timeouts have been used or judges' rulings have been used. Uh, another uh, unique feature of the app is that it will always display the max possible points that each team can get from this point in the match, which is very helpful towards the end of a match. You can see, you know, do you have the match wrapped up or not? After um, the match is over, you can return to the, the list of matches. Um, these are ones from previous dates. So you can always go back and kind of review, you know, what happened in a certain match and, and see, you know, if there was something you could have done differently, see what questions it was that, you know, a certain quizzer missed. And there's also a stats button that will show you statistics for all of the matches from that day. So it'll show you how many points they earned, how many positive quiz outs, negative quiz outs, how many matches they were in, uh, what percent of the questions that they buzzed in on did they get right, um, the 
total number of questions that they were seated for and break out by 10s, 20s, and 30s and how many of each they got right or wrong and even broken out by whether it was a quote or a non-quote. Now, these, whether it's a quote or non-quote does require that you've been looking up the questions during the match. Uh, that's how it knows that it was a quote or not. So that is pretty much the app. I, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been very helpful to me and I'm sure it will be to you and your team.